two years ago. I uh, got my first pet ever as an adult. I have, um, I call her a little puppy, but she's actually a full grown Chihuahua Jack Russell mix. She weighs all of five pounds and um, she's my little Lily girl, so she's fun. I became interested in breast oncology actually when I was a resident. I trained to be a general surgeon, but really wanted to focus in or specialize in one thing. And what I saw in my very large residency program was women who had breast problems or breast cancer were not treated as women who had a problem, but were treated as the breast cancer. Um, they weren't often referred to by name, but just the cancer in room two or the cancer who's going to have a mastectomy. And I really wanted to uh, develop more of a personal relationship with patients and see them long-term and to help them with the struggles of cancer, not just treating it surgically. So I started working here in Goshen at the very earliest part of the cancer center. I was recruited in 2000 to head up and develop the breast cancer program. And it was just what I wanted. We had weekly meetings. We still have weekly meetings that include not only the doctors, but include the integrative care team, which takes care of uh, supplements and um, helping the well-being of women as well as um, promoting their dietary needs and just taking care of the whole person and developing a group plan that we are then, I hate the words, we're all on the same page, but we are, we all have the one unified plan. Well, we all know what we're going to do because we meet on a weekly basis. And that is one of the things really that has kept me here, that integrative care, the people I work with. From all of the colleagues here at Goshen, no matter what they do, if they're working in the coffee shop or they're working in the cafeteria, they're a nurse that I work closely with, everybody has one thing in common is that they're concerned not only about the patient, but we're concerned about each other. And um, some of my partners that I work with, we talk about being a family and we really are there for one another and what our needs are.